Hello everybody, my name is Hannah Carmona and today I am excited to join you here on Moon Lane TV to read to you my book Anita and the Dragons. At the very end of this video we will also be doing a short writing activity so make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Anita and the Dragons, written by Hannah Carmona, illustrated by Anna Kunha. Today is the day I will meet the dragons, large winged beasts who will carry me away. For years I have watched the dragons high above me as I play, hopping from one cement roof to another. Their snarls shake the gravel roads, but being the valiant princess that I am, I never let them scare me. They aren't real dragons, my brother Juan reminds me. They're just planes in the sky. Humph, I say, leave my palace at once. You servants can be such a nuisance. We don't live in a palace, my older brother Tony retorts. Of course you don't. I, Princessa Anita, would never allow a toad like you inside my walls. It may not be a real palace, and they may not be real dragons, but I will always be a real princessa here on my island. With my trusty steed and delicious arroz con leche, all my royal subjects adore me, so they are extremely sad when I tell them I will be meeting the ferocious dragons today. With their muscles so strong, they will swoop my entire family and me away, taking us to live on a distant land far, far away from the Dominican Republic. Princesa, our new palace will have hot water and a real dryer, says Mommy, as she dances with Abuela to merengue music. I move to the beat, giddy at the thought of a warm bath. Abuela is not coming, so we must tell her every detail. We promise to send thousands of pictures. Both she and I are sad. However, like a brave princessa, I hold her hand and give her my brightest smile each time we talk about the new palace. We'll learn English and the government will not turn off the electricity every night. Mommy rambles over the sing-song chant of the vendedor. I nod along imagining an evening reading by lamplight instead of gas lamps. But where will Princessa Anita receive steaks as fine as mine? The butcher asks. Mommy's voice fast and loud fills the tiny shop as she speaks of all the stores we will live near. There will even be restaurants with staff who wait upon us. It is a bumpy ride to the dragon's lair. Twice we stop for another car to pass. My eyes are wet from having said goodbye to my trusty steed and abuela. My usually happy stomach feels as though someone is squeezing it too tightly. But, like a brave princessa, I hold my chin high. It is time to meet the dragons. The rumble of the beast roars all around the hot, crowded airport. Sweat drips down my back. My steps feel heavier than usual. Bobby leads the way. Face to face with the mass of beasts, my throat clenches. Wings protrude from either side. Eyes line the slender body. Already the beast hums in anticipation. The surrounding dragons take flight, flying so high that soon they are nothing more than a speck, small enough to pinch between my fingers. Courageously, passengers move towards the dragon. But not me, not this princessa. I look up at Bobby and Mommy. I won't let this horrible beast take me away from everything I love. What if I hate it? What if I'm lonely? What if I get scared? What if I'm sad? What if I'm not brave at all? No one speaks. Mommy touches her rosary beads. The clammy ha hands of my brothers grip my own. Bobby's shifting eyes settle downward. I am not the only one who will miss my island. I close my eyes. I swallow hard. 
A rock the size of my fist presses down my throat before it lands with a plunk in the empty pit of my stomach. I breathe in the sea salt drenched air deeply. I send a silent message to my island, a message filled with mango sweet kisses, black stormy nights, glassy blue waves, spicy hot heat, and sandy snug hugs. I will see you again. With one step, I move away from the familiar. With another step, I walk into the unknown. Hand in hand, we stand strong, bravely through the dark, narrow throat of the beast. We enter its belly, where we will take flight to new adventures. I am no longer a watcher of dragons. I am a fearless dragon of my own. The end. Thank you guys so much for joining me in reading my book, Anita and the Dragons. And now we are going to get ready for a little writing activity. So if you don't already have your notebook and your pen and paper, you can go ahead and grab that now. So one of my favorite parts of writing is writing the first draft because that's the draft that I don't really have to think that much about. Um, it's just the draft that I use to get the story out there. I don't worry about spelling. I don't worry about making it sound pretty. I don't worry about any of those things that you're going to do in the editing process. I just write and however the story comes out, um, that's what I let it do. I kind of, I call it word vomiting on the page where you just, you just let it all out there. So for this activity, we're going to practice a little bit of word vomit. Um, and I know that sounds a bit weird, but this is a great activity to do either as a warm up before you get started writing, or maybe if you're experiencing writer's block and you're just stuck and you don't know what you want to happen next. This is a great activity for that. So what you're going to do for this character is, or what we're going to do for this activity is you're going to think of a character and you're going to think of a location and something that character is doing at that location. Now, don't worry, we're going to do the first two together and then you will do the last one on your own. So I have a character picked out for you already. And when I give you these details, don't worry about planning what's going to happen. I'm going to set a timer for one minute and you're just going to write a story, um, any story. You could start with once upon a time. You could start with maybe a line they said, you know, they could be like, oh my gosh, a mouse. Um, however you wanted to start. The trick is not to overthink it. Just start writing and it's going to feel like complete nonsense. And that's completely okay because the point is to get us out of our thinking mind and just having fun with our imagination. So for your first writing prompt, your character is a dog. The dog is at a yoga studio and it is doing yoga. So here we go. I'm going to set our timer. Ready? And right.
awesome job. Okay, we're gonna get ready for our second round. Second time is easier because you're usually willing to let yourself be a lot more crazy. Um, remember, this isn't, you're not writing for anybody else, but for yourself, you know, this isn't something you're going to have to put out there. Um, so just, just write whatever silly thoughts come to your head. Okay, so for your second writing prompt, your character is a doctor. The doctor is at a concert and the doctor is sleeping. All right, ready, set, write. Great job.